Hello guys, once again, it is Tapeworm Stunts, and we're back with some more Backyard Football 2002 action. This uh, this week, it is week six versus the Hornets. I am not sure the record, but we are three and two at the moment. Let's get this started. Make sure all of our offensive players are in the game. Jorge is at, there we go, da, 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 da. and we are good. I don't want to listen to you. So it looks like the Chicago Bears versus the Mighty Hornets at Emerald Lakes Marina. So we are playing another away game, and this is going to be a win. Maybe. Hopefully. Kind of. I don't know. Maybe. I haven't played this game in so long. I, I actually took a break from recording for so long. That's because I... Yeah. Okay, Pete's going to make the tackle on the 11-yard line. We're going to get a power-up for that. But the reason I stopped recording for a while, I'm not really sure of. Oh, nice sack by Jorge. That's going to pin him around the 1-yard line. 4-yard line. Wow. Let's see if Jorge could blitz in. Stop the running back pass. And that's smart of the running back to run away from that. That might have been a safety for the other team. And they're going to run a Hocus Pocus play. Pete and Ernie are back there. And they're just going to come up with a pick. Ernie is going to be tackled down by the green-haired ponytail poking out of... Never mind, it's blue. Wow. Oh, no. Maybe that quarterback's hair. Blue hairs. I don't know what's going on. Roll over. Pete. And Pete's going to take it to the 10. To the 5. Touchdown. Pete Wheeler and the Chicago Bears. No. I almost quit out of the game. That would not have been good. I guess if you press spacebar, quit out of the game. That's strange. Okay, Pete. So now we're going to kick a field goal. BFL action. Ricky's going to be... Reese is going to be stuffed in the backfield. Ricky's not going to get a chance to show his strong leg shine. And that is going to be a mistake and a missed opportunity for the Bears. That could cost them the game. Let's see if Jorge can come up over here, and that is an incomplete pass. The running back seems to be scared of the ball in the backfield, and Tina is going to drop back and be sacked by Jorge at around the three-yard line. That's a great play by Jorge Garcia, and he's a great defensive lineman for our team, and that's going to be a safety. Jorge Garcia with a safety. I think his third safety on the year. Can't be sure. Do not quote me on that, but this is going to get make up for those uh, that field goal that we missed. I'm sorry, uh, PAT. Point after attempt. Yeah. We're going to try a swinger out to Pete Wheeler. Pete Wheeler is going to be down to the 40, the 50, and be tackled by Tina, the uh, Hornets quarterback. And it's the bomb, and Ernie Steele's going to come up with it. He's running down the sidelines, and he's going to be stopped at the 20-yard line. We have a power-up, and we're going to see if we can save that. Hand it off to Pete Wheeler. He's going to be, the corner is going to be stuttering, not knowing what to do with Pete running straight at him. And that is going to be a mistake. And Pete Wheeler is going to catch the ball and take it into the end zone for six. Second touchdown on the day. Second uh, receiving touchdown on the day, that is. And we are going to go for the Go for the extra point because our off our line cannot block for their lives. And that's Pete in the end zone. With our famous play, the rollover. Ricky's going to be kicking it off deep. And it's going to bounce back all the way to the 20-yard line. Daisy's going to shed a tackle and be tackled at around the 28-yard line. And I'm talking so fast right now. I usually stutter so bad when I try to talk fast. It's, it's kind of strange. This brings out something different. This is the brighter side of me, you know? It's backyard football. Okay, so that's going to be an incomplete pass. Passing it to nowhere. Should have been intentional grounding, but that is not in this game. Ernie Steele is going to go for a second interception of the game. We're going to see if we can do a spring-loaded over to block this punt. And yes, we can. Jorge's going to come up with another 20-yard loss in the backfield. Great play by Jorge. And Pete is going to be stopped at around the one, uh, one-yard loss. And we are going to try a cross play. Let's see what can... 
come up with Enrique Johnson. Clutch receiver is going to come up with a catch, reaching all the way down to the eight yard line. And I'm watching Ernie Steele in the corner, and he is going to miss the ball. Ricky Johnson or him could not get it off the bounce. This is fourth down. Seems like a good time for Tornado, but we're going to save it. Use the rollover play, and Pete's going to get the completion for the touchdown. Third touchdown, third receiving touchdown in the game, and we're bouncing, at, we're bouncing back after that terrible loss in week five. And Ricky is going to get time to finally get one of the PATs, but he is not going to be able to make it. I don't know what's going on with my computer right now. Looks like my mouse pad just deactivated for some reason, which is very strange. A little notification came up, and Jorge is going to jump up. Jorge's being a defensive star today. Nobody could stop him. This blocker must feel ashamed. Jorge's going to leap over the offensive lineman, get the pick, and we're going to use a swinger play out to the right side. This is going to be Pete's first rushing touchdown of the day. Already four touchdowns on the day, and whoever has Pete Wheeler for his fantasy team will be happy. Ricky's going to get time to kick it, and one more time he's going to kick it off the left upright. He's not going to be able to complete that. So it is 28 to zero the bears are in the lead and jorge is going to jump up for it again reese worthington is going to be a court uh going to not be able to cover the tall receiver of the hornets and belinda with a strange name with a strange catch over pete wheeler and their star receiver over on the outside. And Belinda's going to come up with another catch. Ronnie Dobbs cannot tackle her. And she is gone to the end zone. Second quarter. Great way to open the second quarter for the Hornets. And Belinda's Winters is going to be happy with herself right now. Let's see if we can get in a block. See if their blockers will stop. And no, they will not. Ernie Steele is going to be there. In the backfield to show some pressure, and that is going to be a no good field goal. Jorge is going to run down, and I'm going to dive with him down to the 30 yard line so he doesn't fumble. And I'm going to try using our tornado play now as Pete's losing some stamina, and it glitched out of, at about the 30 yard line. Stop moving. That's a bummer. Let's see if Pete, if Reese has any more stamina left in his arm, and he does, but Pete does not have any more stamina left in him. We are going to have to lay off from Pete. Put on the bomb play. And Reese is going to be sacked in the backfield. Tried to get the throw off, and it's not going to happen. They, Their star receiver is now turning into a star defender. And I'm going to try to throw it up to Ricky J. He's going to bounce off his helmet and make the catch. It looks like it's a turnover on down, so our defense is going to have to step it up. Make a big stop here. And... There's going to be a catch. Clarice is going to catch it, and Ernie Steele is going to knock her out of bounds at around the 30, at about the 40-something yard line, and that's going to be a touchdown. I was confused on what to say, and my brain farted all over itself. Sorry if you guys could just hear that. Drink water, because I'm cool. And that's going to be a rushing touchdown for Clarice on the day. They're going to go for two. Pete Wheeler can't cover both of them. And Clarice is going. They are going to throw it to Clarice. Clarice cannot come up with the catch after making that touchdown. This is a big disappointment for them. They are going to give it to Jorge. Jorge's going to get a great block by Ronnie. And Ronnie's going to be destroyed once he made contact. We're going to try to go for a spoon fork play. See what's going on over here. And Ernie Steele's going to come up with a catch, of course. Looks like we have a power up right now, and it is an invincible run. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sub in Ronnie Dobbs and Jorge Garcia, two fresh players on the field, and we're going to use that invincible run because we need Ronnie's speed. With Pete's speed right now and his tired and how tired he is, he's not going to be able to complete this, but Ronnie Dobbs will, and that's going to be a touchdown for Ronnie Dobbs. Great Great run by him using the power up from Jorge Garcia's parents' money. And I don't know how he could be that coordinated to break so many tackles and fall over in the end zone. It will always remain a mystery. And we're going to get enough time to get it off. And one more time. It's off the left post. He keeps missing. Kicking it off slightly to the left. And he's kicking it off slightly to the left on this kickoff as well. So I don't know what's going on with his leg right now. 
but he, they're going to pass it deep up to Ronnie Dobbs, and he's going to bat it away from their both receivers. Great play by him. And Ronnie is going to come up for the tackle on Cleary's. He's going to shed Reese's tackle, and Ronnie's going to come up with it. Let's see if Jorge can blitz in the backfield from a defensive end position. Diving back there, and she's going to be do dropped down at around the 8-yard line, and they are going to be punting it away. Let's see if we could... Oh, and that's going to be picked up by Jorge to around the 10-yard line. Strange, strange punt for the Hornets. And he's going to get lead blocking by Ricky, but Ricky cannot hold on to that block with the big, big receiver from the Hornets. So after the first half, the Bears are winning 34-12 to with a, uh, more little time of possession, which is a big surprise. Usually you have more time of possession with more points you have. But... We've been scoring fast, and we've been scoring strong, so that's not a big surprise for me. And Jorge is going to pick it up and be dropped immediately by, I believe, Clarice on the other team. And Ronnie Dobbs is going to get a pitch out, and I need to sub back in Pete Wheeler and Reese Worthington. Nope, and Reese Worthington is going to go in for quarterback. But Jorge has an arm on him. You can't forget that about him. And we're going to go with a spoon fork play, see what we could do here. Throw the ball, and that's going to be a fumble in the end zone. James is going to block the pass, hit it back into the end zone, and James Zorn is going to get the touchdown. James Zorn, linebacker, coming up with a big play for the Chicago Bears. We're going to be running in, and it's going to be a pass up to Belinda in the top left side of the end zone. And they're going to go for what looks like an onside kick formation, but not an onside kick. Very strange choice by the kids. But Jorge's going to bring it out to, looks like he brought it out to the one-yard line instead of making the mistake and not staying in the end zone. And we're going to pass it up to Ernie Steele, and that's going to be picked off by Daisy. Terrible mistake by Reese Worthington. Terrible mistake by me. And it's going to be a run right up the middle. Tina, they are picking us apart. They know our strategies, and they're coming back after this first half. We're going to have Jorge Blitz in here, and Reese playing shutdown with the cornerback at the cornerback position, and we're going to see if we could drop back there. And Ronnie Dobbs is going to hit it out of the end zone. Ronnie Dobbs has been playing really well on Belinda, and this is going to be a field goal. Can they make it? Yes, they can. It's going to go straight through the uprights, and that is going to bring the score to 23-34. Bears are still in the lead. I'm going to dive down so there's no fumble. Let's see what we could do with here. Let's see if we can use the bomb. Throw it up there for our receivers, and Ernie's going to come down with it. Dangerous play by Reese, but he's going to trust in his receivers and trust in Pete Wheeler. Pete Wheeler's at the 30, at the 20, at the 10, and they are going. he's going to shed a tackle and should he drop down at the one-yard line. Great, great effort by Pete Wheeler. Uh, we're going to run a Joe Mama up the middle. Going to be tackled and lost for around two yards. And we're going to see if we can just roll over one more time. And yes, we can Pete in the end zone. Fifth touchdown on the day. Fourth receiving. Pete's having a great day, and so is Reese Worthington. Let's see if we can go for this with a cross. Trust in our receivers. Throw it up here. And Ricky Johnson's going to come down with it with a clutch receiver. He's going to get a clutch two-point conversion. Boost up our lead uh, to 42. And Pete's going to be back there and making a crushing hit on Belinda. She can't go anywhere. This has been a great game for us so far. And Ronnie Dobbs is going to play another shutdown cornerback play on Belinda. She has been shut down this entire game. And Ernie Steele is going to dive and knock the ball away. This is great defensive effort stuffing them on their own seven-yard line. And it's going to be a toss over to Claire Reese and Reese Worthington coming up. From his position, making a great read on the other team. And he is going to be able to stop that run from getting any farther. And James Zorn is going to make the tackle on Pete. And that's a terrible pass by Reese Worthington. Pete's going to luckily make that tackle, hope maybe saving a pick six. And the, we've learned our lesson. We're going to put straight up the middle now. Tina is going to try to run it up there on Jorge. And that's not going to happen. And it's going to be a Interception by Ernie Steele after using a cough drop on that play, hoping to cause a fumble. And we're going to run it with Reese Worthington, and that's not going to happen. We are going to try a rollover play. Is Ernie Steele's open? No, but Pete is, and we don't have time to dump the ball off. We're going to try that one more time. 
And we're going to have to throw that away, and that's going to be a fumble in the backfield. They're going to fumble it once again. Clearest fumbles in the backfield, and P's going to be brought down there at the 30-yard line. This is crazy. We're going to throw it up to Ricky Johnson. He's going to reach down. Not enough for the first, but that is going to... This is going to get us in great field position. And we're going to throw it up there for Ernie. And Ernie's going to come up with the catch after a terrible, terrible uh, fumble in the backfield. Scrambling for the ball. Nobody knows what's going on. Ricky Jay's going to be open on the Hocus Pocus play. He's going to make a move on Belinda. And he's gone. Touchdown. Great juke by Ricky Johnson. That's an amazing, amazing play for him. And let oh, and that's a terrible kick by me. I was I, I tapped left click too many times, and it looks like my game is trying to catch up with all the action right now. Still playing Ricky Johnson's touchdown music, and Chuck was talking about the play that just happened as Ricky was in the end zone. So my game's lagging a bit, but we're gonna be sending Reese in for this blitz, and Ernie's going to make a great try. Uh, at cornerback position, he's been showing a lot of effort today, which I've really appreciated. And Pete's going to knock it away from Belinda. Belinda's being shut down today. Nothing to work f working for her. And right as I say that, she's going to chuck Ronnie Dobbs a tackle two times. Break, break his tackle after the immediate catch. Ronnie Dobbs shows a second effort, and she shows a third. That's going to be a touchdown, second touchdown on the day for her. And over 100 receiving yards. This has been a great 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 game so far it looks like we're still in a commanding lead and Jorge jumping up for that block not gonna happen but 40 seconds left in the fourth quarter doesn't look like there's much hope for the the Hornets at this point we're gonna try a flood pass and we're gonna throw it over to Pete and he's going not to, he's not going to be able to shed a tackle if he was he would have been gone on that play and a great lead block by Ricky J and Pete's running out of stamina looks like let's see how good uh Reese's arm is looking and it's going to be looking pretty well as he's going to Ricky Johnson's going to be running down to around the 30 yard line and he, so Reese is going to be sacked in the backfield as I'm going for a quarterback sneak let's check our stamina we're looking pretty good right now I'm going to sub in Jorge to go for some big pass plays right now. I'm going to go for Dub Bomb because Jorge got an arm on him. And he's going to throw it all the way down there. He's going to be overthrown. But Jorge can throw. I might have to put him as our starting. And he's going to lead his receivers. But James with an amazing, amazing play. James Zorn, the one who he wants this ball back bad. He caused a fumble in the end zone, picked it up for a touchdown. Now he's going to come up with an interception. And Belinda's going to come up with another touchdown run. This is going to be a great play, and Ronnie Dobbs looks like he is weak in tackling. He cannot tackle. He's good at playing cornerback, but once it comes to the receiver having the ball in their hands, he cannot do anything. We're going to see if Jorge or Pete can come up with this block here, and they're going to go for two, and there's not going to be an incompletion. Or there's go not going to be a completion in the end zone. My apologies. They went for two, and Belinda could not hold on to the ball. And Jorge... And it looks like Ricky J is going to pick up the ball after being fumbled around in the backfield. We're going to go for a dub bomb one more time. Leading Ricky J deep. Perfect pass by Jorge Garcia. Ricky J is going to break a tackle. And he's going to go all the way. Clutch receiver. This is what I'm telling you. Has big plays at the end of every fourth quarter. This is a great game for us. Yes, Ricky. You should celebrate, man. That was an amazing play. After shedding a tackle... And heading all the way down in the end zone. And he looks like he's going to make his first PAT of the game, I believe. Maybe he weighed one more earlier in it. And we're going to see if he... he's gonna Ricky's going to stay back as their support just in case. We haven't been returned... To, we haven't returned a kickoff yet. But we have not been uh, let up a kickoff return as well. So our special teams is not looking too... Okay, okay it's looking decent. And it's going to be a quarterback sneak. Tina's going to keep it. And Ronnie Dobbs is the last person to beat. And Ronnie Dobbs is going to come up with a clutch tackle. That is it. Sunny Day and Chuck Downfield. Bears 55. Hornets 35. Let's look what happened around the league. And it looks like the Ravens... Ravens come, o uh, come with a defeat... Over the Broncos. I am scrambling up my words. Let's see. Lions look like they come up with another win. Those are the one contender. And we look like the biggest game today besides the Giants and the Orcas. Two explosive offenses. 
And I'd like to take this uh, time while we're looking over the Pete Wheeler st to statistics. 20 touchdowns already in the season. Only in week six, he's going to be setting records this year. So thank you guys for watching so much. Really appreciate it. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and please click on all the ads that you can. <laughs> um, see you guys next time. Goodbye.